Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to evaluate a double integral x squared plus y squared dx dy over a region R, where R is bounded by the curve y equal to x squared, y equal to 1, x equal to 2. But first thing first, what is R? In this case, really the R is a region is bounded by three curves y equal x square, y equal one, x equal two. How do we draw this region? It is important that you know how to draw this region. Later on then you know how to pick the limits of integration. So let's get the three curve out. First R is bounded by y equal x square. So I draw y equal to x square and this is the curve y equal to x square. It is a quadratic curve. Next I'm gonna draw y equal to one. Y equal to one is a horizontal line. This is a horizontal line, y equal to one, and earlier I have y equal to x square a quadratic curve. Next, I want to draw the line x equal to 2. x equal to 2 is a vertical line at y equal to 1 at y equal to x square. Now, the region R is bounded by this three curve. That means at y equal to 1, x equal to 2, and y equal x squared are boundaries of this region. So this is the region R, the shaded one, the region y equal, is bounded by y equal x squared, y equal to 1, and x equal to 2. So these three form the boundaries of R. The yellow part will be the region R. This part of the video, I will show you how to find limits of a iterated integral. The integral is x squared by y squared dy dx over a region R bounded by y equal x squared x equal to 2 and y equal to 1. What is this iterated integral? Now this iterated integral consists of four limits. So they are outer limit which correspond to x. x has two limits. These are called outer limit. y also has two limits. This is called the inner limit. How do I find this limit? I must know how r look like. First, you must find outer limit first. So outer limit is the one corresponding to x in this particular case, it is x from one lower limit to upper limit. So, this is looking for limit of x now. And look at the yellow region R. We find that the value of x goes from x equal to 1 to x equal to 2. So, the value of x goes from x equal to 1 to x equal to 2. So we fill up the value of x of the yellow region 1 and 2. Next, we're going to find the inner limit. The inner limit is the one corresponding to y. So there are two limits here. To find the inner limit, we fix the x from 1 to 2. Our x is from anywhere from 1 to 2. Then you try to figure out what are the possible value of y. So based on this, we find out if I fix the x anywhere between 1 to 2, then the value of y goes from y equal to 1 to the top y equal to x squared. As we know that this is the curve y equal x square and this horizontal line is y equal to 1. So 
the value of y in this yellow region range from y equal to 1 to y equal to x squared. So you write down y equal to 1 to x squared. Therefore, the double integral for this yellow region R, and this is how we find the limits of the integration. What happens if we switch the order of integration from dy dx to dx dy? and we perform the iterator integral over the region R as before. Then, this iterator integral, the outer limit now is for y. The inner limit now is for x. How do we find the outer and inner limit? We must refer to the diagram of the region R. To find the limit, first, you must find the outer limit first. The outer limit is for Y. How to find the outer limit? Must refer to the region R. In this region R, the Smallest value of y is y equal to 1 in the yellow region. The largest value of y for the diagram, we find that the largest value of y is the intersection of y equal x square and x equal to 2 it happen to be y equal to 4. The outer limit y range from y equal to 1 to y equal to 4. Next, we're going to find the inner limit. To find the inner limit, this is for x now, we need to draw a horizontal strip. And this horizontal strip is between y equal to 1 to y equal to 4. Then you look at the left end point of the strip and the right end point of the strip. On the left end point, y is equal to x squared. So we figure out x is equal to square root of y. So the left end point, x equal to square root of y. On the right end point, x is equal to 2. So the limit of x in this case is x equal to square root of y to x equal to 2. So this iterator integral x squared by y squared dx dy has outer limit y from 1 to 4, inner limit x equals square root y to x equals 2. For this iterator integral, as long as you find the limits of integration correctly, whether you do it in dy dx or dx dy, you should get the same answer.